5,000 pesos. With just 5,000 pesos. If you do it right, you could turn that 5,000 pesos into 10,000 pesos, 20,000 pesos, perhaps even 100,000 pesos. How? By investing. Investing means making your money work for you. Investing can also ensure that you will have a comfortable life even after you retire. Now, if you're sitting on a 5,000 pesos and wondering what you will do with it after all time deposit or fixed deposit rates are still at its all time low. And if you're wondering if there's any investment that you can invest and get better returns with your money, if that is you or you just want to know how you can invest with 5,000 pesos, then this video is for you. Hi there, my name is Gabriel. Welcome back to my channel. I make weekly videos regarding personal finance, travels, and other fun interesting stuff. So if you're new to this channel and you'd learn something new from this video, please hit that like button to help me reach more and more people about this content. Also smash that subscribe button as well and turn on that notification bell icon so you'll get notified whenever I upload new videos. And if you're more active on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter, please do follow me there as well for the latest updates and activities. Even though I do seem super hype about personal finance such as investing in stock market, life insurance, real estate, and lots of adulting stuff, please do take note that I'm not saying that you should do this or you should do that or this is the perfect investment for you or this is the perfect investment for everyone. You, you should take time to assess your own financial goals so that you can decide for yourself what whether what kind of investment or what form of investment that makes sense for you. Right. Whatever I say in this video or to any of my previous videos, and those are non-financial advice. Disclaimer, I am not a professional financial advisor. I am just a random person in the internet who is sharing my personal experience and what I have learned so far. And yeah, we're all learning this together. So also, do your own research. Now, if you're interested in learning more about managing your money or personal finance in general, you can check out my personal finance playlist. Because, you know, baby steps. We good? Alright, let's get started. But firstly, congratulations for making 5,000 pesos. I know for some, maliit lang po na pera yan. But for some, 5,000 is ano na, uh, malaking halaga. So good job for making it this far. You're probably thinking, what can you do with this 5,000 pesos? And what are some of the things that you can invest and grow your money? And how do you begin investing with just 5,000 pesos? Drumroll. Here are the six ways to invest. First, Philippine stock market. There is no place like home. PSE or Philippine Stock Exchange is our local stock exchange where you may invest in companies that are publicly listed. When you purchase a company stock, you basically become the part owner of the company. When the company makes money, you also make money. Simple, right? You may be asking yourself, how can just 5,000 pesos make you become the co-owner of that company? And how will be able to buy the stock? Yes, you heard me right. You can become a shareholder of Jollibee, BDO, Ayala Land, or even becoming the business partner of Mr. Manny Pangilinan, the CEO of PLDT, by just investing 5,000 pesos. To begin investing in the stock market, you will need to have a trading account which you can get by signing up with a local brokerage. From there, you will just need to deposit money and begin searching for companies to invest in. In the Philippine Stock Exchange, the minimum amount of stocks you must purchase is based on the current price of the company. The lower the price, the higher the minimum shares required. The bigger the price, the lower the minimum of shares needed. For example, if you want to buy Jollibee or JFC, by the way, JFC is the stock code of Jollibee. JFC now is at 210 pesos per share. In order to buy JFC, you need to buy its minimum board lot or minimum number of shares, which is 10 shares. This means if JFC stocks is equal to 210 pesos per share, multiply it to 10 shares, that would be 2,100 pesos. Meaning, meron ka pang natitirang 2,900 pesos. That remaining balance you have, you may choose to buy more shares of Jollibee or you may choose to buy another stocks or company to invest in just to diversify your portfolio. As what my uncle Warren Buffett says, don't put all your eggs in one basket. Diversify your portfolio. With 5,000 pesos, you have a lot of choices of stocks that you can choose from. Ideally, you want to find a stock that is priced below 5 pesos to ensure that you'll be able to hold a significant number of shares. The higher the shares that you have, the higher potential of gains you will get. But don't just let the stock price be the deciding factor when it comes to picking of stocks. Successful investing 
comes from researching the company you would like to invest. Like, what does the company do? How are their financial? Uh, what is their business model like? And how is their management? More importantly, don't just buy a stock because someone or somewhere told you or you have read it online. Number two, U.S. stock market. Looking beyond Philippines, we have a U.S. stocks or global stocks where there are companies such as Google or Apple, Facebook, Microsoft, and Tesla. Why not consider investing in them? Investing in U.S. stocks has three big advantages. Firstly, a lot of exciting technological development and growth happen in the U.S. Think of Tesla, Apple, Amazon, or Google with huge growth rates. Secondly, investing in the U.S. means having a broader market exposure, meaning that you're able to jump into various opportunities beyond the local ones. Thirdly, the exchange rate. We know that the U.S. currency is stronger than ours, and because of that, your profit gains will be higher. And on top of that, if our local currency or Philippine peso weakens, you will have peace of mind that your U.S. stock portfolio will most likely be largely unaffected. But the biggest concern of Filipinos as when investing in U.S. stock market is the cost. The truth is, and actually, the U.S. stocks are expensive for us when you factor in the exchange rate. Just look at the Amazon stock price at 3,200 plus USD. I myself di ko afford yan kahit one share lang ang bibilin ko. It will cost me around 175,000 only to buy one share of Amazon. Ang mahal di ba? So let's say if you were required to purchase a minimum of 10 shares, you will need to have a minimum of... Basically, you need a lot, a lot of money right now. You probably need thousand of thousand of pesos in order to start. But don't worry, you do need to buy the minimum 10 shares or 100 shares like the Philippine stocks. Instead, with eToro or GoTrade, these are my current two online brokers and which I can personally recommend off. With these two, you're able to buy what is called fractional shares. Meaning, you can buy a stock based on the amount of money you have rather than the current stock price. Sounds interesting? Mm. Number 3. Gold Commonly known as the asset that protects investors against inflation and recession. I know that most investors have gold in their portfolios to diversify from just having currency-backed assets. In the old days, to invest gold, people commonly resorted to buying jewelries or, or gold bars. The problem with gold jewelries is that you don't get much gold or even if you do, there's a workmanship cost involved. Mostly, you will be charged more because someone needs to take that gold or someone needs to melt it or someone needs to craft it. And all of that in course cost, cost to you or their making charge fee plus not to mention the additional taxes. What about gold bar? Investing in gold bars also has a few problems. First, gold bars are expensive. Secondly, gold bars are heavy which makes them very hard to move around. Third, it's very dangerous to move around and keep them secure. See, what if your neighbors or your flatmates all knew that you are keeping gold bars under your bed? Surely, you have to think about it, right? Number four, cryptocurrency. Dab as the new gold. Cryptocurrency is a digital currency that is neither owned by a bank or by a person. The reason why it's dab as the new gold is because like gold, it's limited. You cannot produce more like how you can print more money and that means Theoretically, it's more resistant to inflation. Is it good or bad? Well, it depends on who you're asking. Some think that this is the next currency that we'll be using, while some think it's just a fad and will die off eventually. The good news is that today we're seeing more and more financial institutions investing into it. In fact, the very first country who is now considering Bitcoin or cryptocurrency as a legal tender is the El Salvador. For those of you who doesn't know where is El Salvador is, it's somewhere sitting in Central America, northeast side of Honduras, and northwest side of Guatemala. Maybe a lot of other Latin America countries will start following after this. This might be a step forward for the whole world or as a whole. Well, that could be a sign of something. We never know. Who knows? Well, let's just see and who will follow next. There are many cryptos currency in the market. And right now, the most popular ones are Bitcoins, Ethereum, Binance coin or Dogecoin and many more. You know the good thing about cryptocurrencies is you can also start investing in it with as little as 
5 US dollars in Binance. Even people in the Philippines are earning cryptos since the pandemic, not just by investing to it, by also playing a video game. Filipinos earn roughly from 20,000 pesos or 30,000 pesos with an average of 2 hours per day just by playing Axie Infinity alone. It allows players to earn income through non-fungible tokens or NFTs and cryptocurrencies by breeding, by battling or, or trading digital pets called Axies. And with the success of the Axie Infinity, I know that there are still many more games to come like this. So why not consider yourself being a part of that growth too? However, please remember that investing in cryptocurrencies are very volatile. What I mean with this is there will be days that one can go extremely high and the next day it will go extremely down without you knowing it. So be cautious na lang and be extra careful when investing into one. The same in stock market. No one can predict where the market goes. So always invest a portion of your money where you can afford to lose. It's very shame lang no, people started playing games like this and they thought that they are already expert into trading. One should know that games like this are still back with cryptocurrencies. While these are legit investment, one should always educate people how to do it, not just by convincing people or luring people to join for their benefits or for their advantage. With my 5 years of experience in trading and investing, tuturoan ka lang ng isang gamers na ngayon lang nalaman ang cryptos and NFTs, I invested a lot of money into seminars and courses and books without getting my hands first in trading and people now started to act and think that they are now more skillful than Marvin Guillermo or Warren Buffett. So if you meet people like this, always be cautious na lang, no? And right away, you stay away from them. The thing is, it's not the game or the investment tool that makes one unreliable. It's the people that are hyping up. And when people started to lose money, eventually they disappear or if anything goes wrong they will no longer personally accountable so if you're earning a lot from whatever you do good for you i would say congratulations and more profits to you cheers number five an eb mp2 if you don't want to pick your own stocks or actively monitoring things like stock price or gold price or cryptos but you just want to have manage it for you consider our very own pag ibig mp2 we all know what Pag-ibig is, but by definition, uh, it's, it's a government-controlled corporation that primarily exists to provide affordable housing loans to Filipinos. So the income that gets from loaning out the funds, they pay it back to their members as dividends. But before you can start investing in Pag-ibig in P2, one should be a regular Pag-ibig member first and are actively paying their regular monthly contributions. This is called MP2 or the Modified Pag-ibig Savings Program, which is an extra savings program and voluntary contribution managed by Pag-ibig itself, which give their members more opportunities to grow their money. The MP2 Savings Program earns higher dividends than the regular savings program. It's seven times higher interest than your time deposit bank account. It has a maturity period of five years. While although the minimum investment for MP2 is only 500 pesos, why not invest 5,000 pesos now lump sum and consistently add 500 pesos or any amount you like as long as each of the transaction is at least 500 pesos. There's no limit. You can deposit your whole 5,000 pesos to it or if you have 100,000 pesos sitting only in your bank account, then invest that instead of losing its value in the bank because of the inflation. It's very safe. It's tax-free. It's backed by government, so you know that it's guaranteed that people will get their money back plus the interest. Basically, you are confident that you will get back your capital compared to those investment tools that I have mentioned to you earlier. It's in the law, right? So it's probably the safest investment that can give you this much of a return. Number six, real estate or property investing. Buying a property in hopes that the value of the property will appreciate or earning a passive income from rental payment of the property. People think that uh, real estate investing is very expensive to start as you need to fork out a higher amount of money to pay for the down payment. Well, the good news is that due to the current pandemic, most of the developers are now very lenient in terms of their payment schemes. One can start owning a property or investing in real estate for just as low as 5,000 pesos per month. So just make sure that you have the cash flow or you'll be able to maintain for the installment for the property you buy. The buying and selling of course of the property is a matter of months or years before you can receive your money. Nonetheless, 
it can be very rewarding if you know how to manage it well. I have made a content regarding real estate investing. Please check that out and how and why I invest in real estate by clicking the link in the description down below. Alternatively, I personally recommend or you can contact my trusted real estate broker, Ms. Chela Tantog, to give you a wide range and explore more options if you are planning to buy or to get a property in the Visayas Mindanao region while the property market is still low currently. So what are you waiting for? Take some time to learn about money. Understand how money is created. You don't need to be an expert of each one of them. But it's good to have a general understanding and knowledge to know how it works and how it can be benefit for your wealth. With technology, learning about money, gaining financial literacy has never been easier now. You can search online for good articles and watch YouTube just like this one. The truth is, a good investment portfolio that gets a great return comes with time and effort to educate yourself to be a savvy investor. You need to be at least financially literate to be able to allocate your portfolio effectively and efficiently in order to get your financial goals. So that's all for today. I hope you learned something new and if you did enjoy this video, please hit that like button. If I have missed out anything and you'd like to share your thoughts, Please share to us your investment in the comment section down below and see you in the next video.